Hello, good day. John Ruman here, Sales Training Academy. I work at The Real 007 Roger Moore in Trinidad, Tobago, helping you master your sales. You need to record every detail of conversations you're having with clients and prospective clients. Here's why. So most of us are not very good note takers, especially those in sales. I kind of try to get through a lot and they do their best to take care of things, but the problem is they become inefficient and they don't take the time to do those little steps that enable them to actually build a relationship. So here's the thing. Your job is creating relationships with people regardless of the level and keeping relationships strong regardless of the level and the length of time you've worked with them. So hopefully you're at the point where you're talking to many people on a regular and consistent basis. View that as a blessing. I hope that's your, your case. The reason I bring that up is when you become busier with more and more people to connect with, it becomes more challenging for you to therefore remember all the details of the conversation you had with the guy last Tuesday. So when you call this fresh new prospect, you met him at TIC and he's the man and, and you guys had a great conversation and you're following up, he wants you to do a service or product that you offer. When you call him up and, and you took notes of the TIC, you guys talked about this and he seemed to have an interest in that. And let's say his daughter just had a birthday and he mentioned that. Yeah, I gotta do this, can't talk tomorrow because my daughter's birthday is to whatever, call me next week. So when you call him back and you're making that reconnection with this person, first of all, you obviously ask if they have a moment and it's a good time to speak. But once that passes and you remind them who you are, etc., so that you're in their mind, you don't jump to sales. You don't jump to anything like that. Your job is to make a relationship happen. So a pertinent detail that you recorded from that last conversation was his daughter's birthday. How'd that go? Where'd you guys have it? How old did she turn? Good for you. Congratulations. I bet it's amazing being a father. Anyway, so the reason I called is we had talked about da-da-da. And what happens is, first of all, you get a chance to really get to know this person better and actually develop a real relationship. But also, you are talking about things that really matter to most people, which is they're working not just for the money, it's for their children, um, their family and other sorts. Their, their, it, may be, it may be financial, but maybe taking the kids to college, making sure they get a great education. Again, everyone has their own high reasons and, why, and whys, but the important thing is you record that information. And there's a couple ways to record that. So for example, obviously when you meet the guy at TIC, what I would encourage you to do is actually have like a voice recorder and so for example, there's an app called Evernote. Evernote is amazing, but I'll tell you one of the cool things Evernote can do is you can record, you can take a snapshot of this prospective client's business card in Evernote while you're at, let's say TIC, which, uh, which in Trinidad is just an annual really big convention. And you take a picture of this person's business card and then you can record a audio recording in that same note. So you can take like 15 seconds. So I talked to this guy, his daughter's birthday is next week. Uh, he was very interested in this. We talked about blah, blah, blah. And it'll refresh your mind. And it'll put you back in the moment. So you may have talked to 100 people at the workshop, the, the event that day, and you remember exactly who he is. It's crystal clear. And you may want to write those down. And I believe Evernote even has voice to text. But what it allows you to do is you record it. You listen to that just before you call to him. Or you read it if you put this into a CRM after. It allows you to now make it so that you can re-engage and have a genuine connection with this person. So you're not selling, 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 it's relationships. So if you can get around your head that your job is not to push sales, but to build relationships and solve problems, the sale will happen because you have what they need. More than likely, there's a chance you have what they need. So stop pushing the sale, the sale and build the relationship. So if you are not keeping relationships strong, and if you are not, um, I'm not sure what they use in Trinidad, but in the U.S., throwing people under the bus, making them feel bad, or disregarding things that to them are really important, you're missing out on the, the real opportunity here. While you, yes, the sales equal the money, the relationship are, are what 
hopefully is why you're in this too, because you're a people person. So take the time, get the details, write down, record the details in a CRM audio note, however you're going to do it, piece of paper, but don't lose the paper. That's why the recording on your phone is great, because it also stores it on the cloud. That way you have the information for when you follow up next time. So make sure you have a good follow-up tracking system that's always helpful. So if any of this is of value to you, this Sunday, which is the 15th of July, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., Roger and I are having a cold calling masterclass, which we will help you to create the phone script that you're calling on initially, and also to help you teach tonality. So this will be a customized script just for you. We will give you feedback on how to improve it that day, as well as you'll practice with other people in the class to become more proficient at it. And tonality will make it such that when they listen to you on the phone, they're drawn into every word you're saying. Very important when you're making sales calls to actually pause when you need to pause and make the tone of the talk actually naturally be engaging. So it's 2 to 5, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. The total investment is 600 TT. Most people, probably you, who are watching this and want to take that class will also um, want to take our six-week course. So what we're doing, this is our most popular module, is of the six modules in the main course, is we will put 400 of the $600 investment towards the class in September, which is the 13th of September. It's six Thursdays in a row starting in the 13th of September. So any questions either on Instagram or Facebook or, or YouTube or anywhere else you see this, shoot me a message. I'll be happy to let you know. If the event passed, still reach out to us because I'm sure there's something we're doing soon that you can participate in. So thank you. I would love to hear your feedback as to what you do to record what you're doing, whether it be CRM, audio, any sort of tools and trick, tricks or tips that you have. And I'd also... Love your feedback on any topics that you think are of value that you'd like me to talk more on or questions you'd like me to answer. Please share this video. Show your friends, especially if they're in sales, but most people are in sales. So share this with your friends and leave any comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much. Take care.